Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing 2024 MacBook Air uh, with the M3 chip. Now, this is the 16 gigabyte uh, RAM version with 512 gigabytes of storage SSD um, and 8 core CPU and 10 core GPU. The specification is written here. Um, now, the reason I picked this particular specification was because I, I I do edit YouTube videos. Mostly I do that on my iMac, which is pretty fast. But occasionally I would want to do this on my laptop as well. Um, and so I needed something with uh, lots of RAM. Uh, mostly I use GarageBand, but occasionally I do tend to use Final Cut Pro, which is more a graphics intensive software um, and hence the 16 gigabyte RAM is going to be very helpful. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Now, this was my 2012 MacBook Pro computer. It's still going strong-ish, I suppose. I can still do Microsoft Word uh, and other things as well. Even I can use GarageBand for recording. So that is, it's still pretty fast. So this is a MacBook Pro, and this is a 2014 MacBook Pro. This is something I inherited. Um, this is actually pretty decent. It has the Intel chip, but I still feel it's a little bit sluggish and it's kind of heavier. So I needed something which is lightweight and yet snappier. So, and with the um, Apple intelligence coming in at the next month, actually, or maybe this month, um, I needed something which is going to be able to uh, utilize uh, the Apple intelligence feature um, and hence this purchase. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. All right, so I've got this little piece of paper over here because it has the serial number at the back. Uh, but once again, this is the 16 gigabyte unified RAM, 512 SSD, 13 inch uh, with the M3 chip, and this has a uh, 10 10 core GPU and 8 core 8 core CPU. All right. I I didn't did not I did not want to buy the midnight version because this is the midnight version, but when I went to the store, I had a look at the midnight version and I was really impressed. The color which was on top of my list was um, space gray and um, and even starlight because I thought those colors were quite quite nice. So the side looks like the box is a bit dirty, but anyways, it was interesting that uh, a lot of YouTube videos that I've watched, uh, people talk about how the the midnight color tends to be very smudgy, um, but um, but when I looked at the midnight color in the store, uh, obviously a lot of people had um, touched. That computer, uh, the display model, and you couldn't really see any major smudging, so um, I decided to not worry about it. And that's the cable. Unfortunately, the end is white colored. Although I've seen some videos where the color is black, maybe that's just for the pro. So you've got the Apple stickers, this one in black, the booklet. I won't bore you guys with the booklet. Now I want to have a look at this brick, charging brick, and I hope it does have the double. Yes, it does. It has the double charging thing. All right. There we go. Front. There's already some sort of a smudging, but I'm not worried about it. Okay, it has the MagSafe port and two USB-C, and that's it. So I'm going to be needing a dongle at some stage. It's really lightweight, super lightweight, it's really good. Okay, here we go.
let's uh, increase the light to the back uh, maybe it's on but I cannot see it because I've got the other um, spotlight on at the moment but there we go English All right, guys nearly there just setting up Siri it just puts a lot of strain on the eyes so I'm gonna go ahead with the light version and here it is if you want to be ready for Apple intelligence um, get the latest version or whether it's M3 or the MacBook Pro which is coming out uh, next month or in November um, because these computers are going to be super fast in terms of um, um, utilizing Apple intelligence so highly recommend doing that also if you're not doing any graphics related work you are okay with just 8 gigabytes of RAM and 8 core GPU but if you are going to be using Final Cut Pro I highly recommend getting 10 core GPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, period uh, on a separate note I did try using this MagSafe connection in my old 2014 lap MacBook Pro and it doesn't work so just in case if anyone is wondering alright guys thank you so much for watching this quick video um, I normally post videos related to music heavy metal music in particular um, but every now and then I do throw in some techie related video mostly Apple stuff so if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment and subscribe um, and I'll see you guys in my next video